Hello programmers, in this video we're going to create a simple white paper scissors game in python. Let's get started. So yeah, this program could be a great starting point for those who are willing to become a game developer because you don't have to make anything graphical and use any game engine and yet you get an overall understanding of game development's logic and its core which is conditions. Anyways, first of all we need to import two libraries, random and time and I think random and time are pre-installed but if not just go ahead to your terminal and install them by using the pip install command. Now let's create a variable called options and store broad paper and scissors in the form of a python list. So again, we have a list of these three strings stored in our options variable. Then let's define a couple of similar variables to track the user and AI's score. Next, let's define a pretty important while loop and set the condition to true to make it run infinitely. And now let's use randoms rand int method to get a random integer number in the range of 0 to 2 and store it in a variable named AI choice. So this is going to be our program's option choice randomized each time we loop through this while true loop. Next, let's code another while true loop. I'll explain why we do that in a moment. Now let's get our user's input and let's give it a hint as well. Zero for rock slash n. And in case you don't know what exactly this is, it's just a type of escape character that will simply create and jump into a new line. And here are paper and scissors options as well. But also I think it would be a good idea to, to add an exit option as well. Now let's break the line again and add a hint for the user and show the valid input that the user can enter. But what if the user enters an invalid option? And that's actually why we define a while loop here. But first let's convert the input to lowercase before validating the input. And now we can just define an if condition to check if the user's input is in our valid options list. And if so, we're just gonna break out of the loop this loop and if user's input is not valid let's print an alert message on the terminal and say something like that is not an option choose again so again we get the user's input break out of the loop if it's valid and if not we will alert the user and also let's add a two second slip here so the user can read the message and we are done with our validation loop now let's update the user input variable so basically we are using our user's input number converted to integer of course as an index to choose an option from the options list. So we're gonna have either rock, paper or scissors stored as an updated value in our user input variable. But we've got a small problem here. Our user input may contain the E option as well and we can't convert it into an integer and use it as an index. So here we can use a one-liner if condition for when the input is E or not. Not. So basically we are saying that update the user input variable to this value if the user input is not the letter E and if it is just keep the user's input latest value. Alright let's create a similar variable as well for our AI's choice but the only difference is that we don't need that if condition anymore because our AI choice variable is already and only a random number between 0 to 2. All right, now let's do some more fun stuff after all of these boring codes. We're going to define three functions. The first one is going to be the win function. So I'm gonna just name it win func, which needs two arguments as well. Then let's use a print statement to show what each player chose, which could be different each time. And that's why we use these two curly brackets. They are just a placeholder, so we can insert a variable's value into a string. And we specify the variable inside our format method so the first placeholder gonna contain the user input and the second one is going to be the bot's choice another one second sleep for readability then let's add another print as well and say you win and finally a print statement that is going to say curly brackets beats curly brackets the user input beats the AI choice so we're gonna fill the first bracket with user input and the second one with AI choice. So now our win function is done. So let's just copy and paste it to create a loose function. 
and make sure you replace the order of these variables because this time this is a loose function which means what our program chose beats the user's choice our loose function is done as well and now let's create a draw function as well all right that's it our functions are ready and let's get started defining our conditions the first condition is if the user has chosen to exit the game or not and if so then we just print exiting the game and break the loop the main while loop that runs our code then let's just define a win condition like if user chose rock and our program chose scissors then we run the win fun function we define earlier right there and then we have to add one score to the user's code variable which we created at the beginning of our code now let's create a loose condition for when our user chooses rock and that's when the ai choice is paper which beats the rock so this time it's going to run the loose function and add one score to the ai score variable because this time the program wins the game and finally let's define a draw condition and that is rock rock so this time we run the draw function and we don't add any score to anyone so yeah now we have these three conditions for win lose and draw and let's just copy and paste and modify each for when user chooses paper and scissors as well that's it so next we need another condition to check if anyone's score has reached the winning score and if so just print that the game is over print the scores and break to finish the game and lastly let's do another three seconds sleep and print out next round and then our loop starts over and over again until any of the user or program reaches the winning point and we are finally done let's run our little game and see how it turned out here's the options but let's type in something else yeah perfect now let's choose rock you last paper beats rock now i'ma go with rock again ah shit program chose paper again next round let's do rock again and ah come on etc let's go scissors this time okay i guess my competitor is not a bad player let's play another game and test the exiting the game option scissors shit paper fuck paper again hell yeah finally and now let's test exiting the game and it works perfectly and this is it this is the end of this video, hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, just join in and ask it in our Discord server and yeah, bye! bye.